The Gold Coast is the latest city council under the spotlight with accusations councillors are being influenced by developers. The claims clearly angered Mayor Tom Tate, who shut out sections of the media in response. Channel 9, Channel 7, 10, come upstairs. A none too subtle message from the Mayor. I'm just relaying a message. Tom Tate banning the ABC from a council press conference. We should be allowed up from everybody else. His shutout prompted by a Four Corners report alleging undue influence on the Glitter Strip Council stemming from developer donations. But he stayed in the chamber to vote for the sell-off. I could participate in the debate and vote on this matter in the public interest. Right, quote me on that, you idiots. When people ask me what your thoughts on the Four Corners last night, I put it down to uh, lazy journalism. The program has renewed calls for the state government to ban developer donations. Concern me deeply that those sorts of allegations are being aired uh, as a result of, of alleged actions down on the Gold Coast. But the minister will await a triple C report into local government elections, codenamed Operation Belcara. I'm keenly looking forward to, to the uh, Belcara decision to uh, see what might come out of that for consideration of what, what might be the next step forward. The Gold Coast is one of four councils being investigated by the corruption watchdog. Another is Ipswich, where today it was out with the old and in with the new. We elected from within our council body a new deputy mayor. Wayne Went signing on to the role to replace Paul Tully at the troubled council. I've got a certain skill set that I think I can bring to council and assist Andrew. He's joined a new CEO and the mayor hopes a new era free of controversy. We would love to move past this phase as quickly as possible. Joel, when is the triple C report likely to be handed down? Well, Andrew, that is in the hands of the Crime and Corruption Commission and its Commissioner, Alan McSporran. And the best we'll hear from them, from them is that the investigation is continuing. But we did speak with the local government minister, Mark Ferner, today, and he told us that he hopes to have that report on his desk within the next couple of weeks. We've also heard from the Premier, Anastasia Palaszczuk, who has said that her government will act on any recommendations. So law changes with regards to developer donations are a very real prospect. Andrew? Joel, thanks for those details.